your wait is over. It's big. It's fast. It's here. California Speedway. Now racing has a new home. Where will you be when a new era dawns and racing history is made? California Speedway. Racing's future starts here. Ironic. A track that was once labeled as the future of racing is now coming to an end 25 years later. The two mile D-shaped oval, originally known as California Speedway, now known as Auto Club Speedway, will officially be constructed into a short track after this weekend. Built during NASCAR's boom period, the track holds 122,000 seats. For the past two and a half decades, fans from all across the country and around the world enjoyed the spectacular racing that took place there. While you had some phenomenal racing at times, the track certainly wasn't perfect. Over the years, it also produced some lackluster racing from time to time, and let's not forget the tragic passing of IndyCar legend Greg Moore. But I feel the positives outweigh the negatives. Some of the greatest drivers in both NASCAR and IndyCar had the chance to duke it out on the two mile D-shaped oval. And before it all comes to an end this weekend, I'd like to go over some of the greatest moments in the original Auto Club Speedway's storied history. ABC Sports and NASCAR welcome you to California Speedway for the inaugural California 500 presented by Napa. Southern California race fans have been waiting for this moment for years. Over 71,000 in the grandstand and thousands of others in the infield have come here today. It's just about time to go racing as 42 cars and drivers get set for 500 miles of competition. It's a beautiful Southern California afternoon as 42 NASCAR Winston Cup cars come off of corner number four and get the green flag and the inaugural race at California Speedway is underway. Jeff Gordon off the corner. Bob, I do believe he's going to make it. Let's see if he can do it. He's going to do it. Jeff Gordon wins the California 500, presented by Napa. And the Rainbow Warriors celebrate another victory. Into turns three and four. What a story this Pac West team has been this year. And now the thousands of man hours and all the travel and all the tribulation are worth it. Victory for Mark Blundell, his third of the year, the inaugural winner of the Cart World Series 500 at the California Speedway. Adrian Fernandez takes the win, the gamble pays off, and it's number five in his career for Adrian Fernandez. And here comes Montoya. On stay on it, stay on it. And there he goes. You're the champion. He you are the, the champion. Line. Just behind his rival, Frank Keaty, a chip set it. Juan Montoya, as a rookie, takes the championship. He owns the PPG Cup for the next year. Parker already suggested flat all the way around. First lap for Gilda Farron, 241.428 miles an hour. That breaks Mauricio Guzman's record, that breaks the close course record, and that puts him on the pole. What a surprise that is. Running wall moves, the win by three. Oh, car down low, it's Wallace fine. Wallace Quinn. Nice job on California. And the crewman has walked out, he's got a rusty, and he's got an Earnhardt flag. Oh, cool dog. On what would have been Dale Earnhardt's 50th birthday. His old buddy and adversary, Rusty Wallace, will take that flag to victory lane. Jimmy Johnson in his 13th start, going for his first career win and trying to become the ninth different driver to win a Winston Cup race for Rick Hendrick. Jimmy Johnson off turn four, sixth in points, leading rookie on the tour, and he's going to win his 13th start. They're in turn four. Turns three and four. 
Tomorrow, the headlines will say Bush won a California. Here it is. But it'll be Kyle Bush. Kyle oh, Bush wins in California. Yeah. Kyle oh, Bush wins. Get it, get it, get it. Body stings. Uh, I tell you, you can't believe really it. Talk to me. It's a big drag race down into turn one. Three wide, one four wide, and that's not what you want to do. And he gets tagged in the right rear quarter panel. Almendinger does, and Keselowski's like, "Where did this come from? I didn't even see that one coming." There was that was just one freak accident in the one car. Got in the back of that, and that's what started the whole thing. Casey Mears, ooh, gets tagged and nowhere hard. for Dale Earnhardt Jr. to go in that 88 car. Two more cars hard in the wall behind them. One is Hornish. Someone has run underneath the five car. It looks yeah. like Sam Hornish. Hornish in the 77, because I knew the car just picked up off the ground all yeah. of a sudden. It looks like it's going to be a shootout between these two. Down into turn two, Kyle on the low side. Biffle drifts up high. Here comes Bush. Right behind him, the 22 of Keselowski. He's trying to get the mix. Though. The 22 can have a shot here also. These guys side by side. Joey Logano trying he to get the back Here he goes, down low. Can he hold it? Through the turn three area, through four. Look out, four cars going to be dicing for it, heading for the strike. What a finish. Will it be Biffle? Will it be Bush? Go for the wire. It is going to be a spinning Legato and the win goes to Bush. Probably just a little bit too much of a push. Wow, you see Reed Sorge's car came off the yeah. ground. 47 car back and forth bucking like a Bronco on left tires and right side tires. A really bad wreck for Richard Petty Motorsports. All Every one of his cars. Right there. All, three, all four of them involved. Yeah. A bump. He's going, to, he's going to push him up into the corner faster than he wants to go, I think. Kyle Bush is five car lengths back. It's here a two he hard comes. And here he's comes got him. He's got him. He's got him. He's got him. That little push getting into three. That little bump. Harvick Johnson switches lanes. Johnson can't get there. Harvick wins it. Oh, no. Will Power Spun. Power's in the wall. Oh, unbelievable. It's happened again. That is unbelievable. I'll tell you what, if Hunter Ray Whoa, was, if was, Hunter Ray was two car lengths further back, they would have both been in the wall. So that could be the difference between winning or losing the championship. Ryan Hunter Ray still has to finish this race, but like you said, a couple of car lengths, if they both would have crashed, he would have been the champion. And Carpenter will come off of corner number four, and he is going to win the Mav TV IndyCar World Championships presented by Lucas Oil, while Ryan Hunter Ray the champion for 2012. The same situation as in Indianapolis. Sato crashes on the last lap, not in contention for the win, but a major player. And Michael Andretti's team wins it. Now for the uh, time has come for me to say for the final time for Jan Bikas, Wally Dallabak, Marty Snyder, Kevin Lee, Robin Miller, and Chris Neville. I'm Bob Jenkins thanking all of you fans for making the last 34 years a dream come true for me and hoping in the future that your troubles will all be small ones and your fortunes 10 times 10. May the good Lord bless and keep you till we meet again. Joe Gibbs racing. And boy, Tony Stewart is after Logano. Well, Tony, what angered you at the end of the race? What did you take issue with? What the hell do you think I was mad about? Dumb little which runs us clear down to the infield. He wants to about everybody else. And he's the one that drives like a little I'm going to bust his ass. Thanks, Tony. Thank you. This is a view from James Jakes. He was one of the last to arrive on the scene. He did not see oh, okay. Just completely lost vision. Here we go. And Never he been. tried to bobbing put the and weaving. Boy, they are bobbing and weaving going off into that corner down there. Turn one.
Tony Stewart on the bottom trying to take it from Kurt Busch. And this is the same position Kyle Busch was in a year ago with Denny Hamlin and Joy Logano battling for the lead. White flag, Landon Castle bounced off the wall, goes to pit road. Here we go through the middle. Kyle Busch looked at the middle, now looks to the bottom. Here comes Larson off turn two. Larson's got to run down the back. Can he win two days in a row? The rookie! The Can rookie. he battle Kyle Busch two days in a row? He battled him yesterday and beat him. Here he comes. Dive it to the inside. Kyle took the block. He blocked him. It's the Kyle and Kyle show off turn four. How many times have we seen this? This is like four or five times these two guys have battled each other for the victory. Bush the veteran, Larson the rookie, Kyle Bush wins California. Woo! Two years in a row for Kyle. Number, number two, ideally, I think you'd like to be low in particular going into... Oh, we have a huge crash here on the track right now. It looks like Mikhail Aloshin. This has been the white... This has been the moment that everybody has spoken about that Will Power has waited for. Three times he has been denied an IndyCar championship. Well, not anymore. Will Power is an IndyCar champion. He does it for Team Penske, and finally the agony's over. <laughs> Thank you for the Down on that low line, Ryan Briscoe now for the narrow machine ahead. Look at that, look at that. Briscoe's been working that for 10 laps. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. That was almost five wide. Five wide. Wow, wow, wow. Look at I can see you. I can oh, see where. There, Juan Toyas. He had to back out of it there. He was trying to squeeze between power and wall. Credit to the drivers, they have been rock stars today. Incredible performance from the Verizon IndyCar Series drivers. This is it. One lap. Oh, there goes Ryan Hunter Ray and Ryan Briscoe. And Briscoe flies. Oh. Briscoe flips and flies. Hey, what are we doing? What are we doing? And that's oh. a big one for Kyle Busch because he knows we're not going oh, to get the tire. He blows a tire. Back to the checkers. He blows a tire. Suarez down. He's not out of gas. Austin Dillon's running third, five seconds back. Does he have enough gas? Suarez on the apron. Oh, um, here comes Dillon off the of turn two. Look at Suarez. Kyle's going to try to make it with a flat tire. Can he do it? Bush back in front of him. This is outstanding on the final lap. And Austin Dillon is in the three. Austin He's gonna coming the fast. Dillon's He's going to get the lead. Here comes Austin Dillon. Where does he stand on? He fuel? goes to the outside. Dillon outside of Kyle Bush into the wall. There's contact. Back to the checkered flag. Casey Kane, looks like Casey Whoa. went to go Casey just tuck yeah. in behind her, just misjudged it, got into her right rear, turned her into the wall. Hard impact. Man, right down the straightaway here. Woo! And around goes Kyle Larson. Ooh. Bam! Oh, Ooh. big impact. Man, thank God that safer bear is there, but that was still a huge impact. Is anybody going to make it, Larry? Two, one, time is it. Nobody made it. Nobody made it across the line. Oh. My. Which I think is going to work great for Austin Dillon. Yes. They go back to round number two. Kyle Busch in his Joe Gibbs Toyota is going to win his 53rd race in the Cup Series and hit his magic number 200 in Southern California. He may not yet be the best of all time, but he is the best of his time. No doubt about Kyle that. Kyle Busch. When he has the excitement, the confidence in his race car, and some motivation. And I'm telling you, this crowd has given him that today. This guy rises to the occasion. And lap 24 is up on the board. And the fans have come to their feet to honor the Laker great and share in the tributes here at the Speedway. Hang on. Stupid motherfucker! Cool, five. He's a fucking idiot. He's fucking broke again. He's a shit, motherfucker. God damn it! Down to the bottom goes Logano. Three wide here. Three wide here in the middle. Five, tight two, 22, got loose. Clear high here, clear high, 22 back inside. Clear high, protect the top, protect the top. Up, 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 up. What's he doing with it? Head of steam right here. Drops down to make the pass. It's not clear. 
Back out there, back out there. Clear! Now clear, 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 clear. Come on. Big run for Larson. In the draft, drops to the bottom. And at the line, Larson by Carly. And around goes the 31, sliding down through the grass. Everybody may get through this. He bounces off the wall. Here they come for the checkered flag. Kyle Larson keeps that surfboard trophy in California. I guess all that's left to say is, thanks for the memories, Original Auto Club. Hopefully, the new Auto Club short track will provide us with many more for years to come. And once again, that'll do it for another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Black Flags Matter. Catch you next time.